do that. My makeup looks good today. That's going to start off the podcast. It's a glorious <laughs> day on the Glorious Sunrise podcast. Welcome back, everybody. Uh, I hope everybody is doing super, super well today. Uh, we're really excited because this this episode is going to be, I think, a very special one. Uh, we've had some ideas. We've been talking behind the scenes. We want to highlight some other content creators throughout this process, which will probably be a dead giveaway from the title of this podcast episode. But uh, there's a little more to it than just highlighting them. Uh, and we'll talk about that as we go through. But first, I have to ask John, how you doing, buddy? I'm doing great, man. Doing great. I'm ready for the this week's hilarious moment too. So if anybody sticks around to the end for that, I got a good one this week. Oh. Not for me, but definitely for you guys. You've planned <laughs> so, ahead. I like it. That's yeah, a rarity well, here. I, in results. I did not plan ahead. My pets <laughs> did. My pets oh. did this for me. Oh, okay. Oh, I'm sick yeah. to I, I'm excited to hear that. Um, <laughs> Dude, heck yeah. Well, guys, uh, welcome back. We have been really enjoying this podcast. It's been an absolute blast to hang out with John every week and talk magic, talk fun stuff. And I hope you guys are really enjoying it as well. I just want to, I'm not normally this guy, but if I'm going to be this guy, this is the week to do it. Please make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel. The reason I say that this week is because this is our last week for our Battle for Baldur's Gate giveaway. So we're giving away a draft booster box of the set on June 17th. That is this Friday. I encourage you guys, subscribing on YouTube is only one of four free ways to enter. Uh, check out all the details at ResolvesMTG.com or there's a video on our YouTube channel that you can check out that is labeled the giveaway announcement. So you can check out all the details there and uh, join in four different free ways. So I do encourage everybody to, to check that out and hopefully win yourself a draft booster box. That's, that's pretty awesome. Uh, we've got future giveaway ideas and stuff like that coming up as well, which we will talk about in a later podcast episode, I am sure. Uh, but for now, that is our current one. So I wish you all the absolute best of luck. Uh, and I hope you enjoy this episode. This is going to be a fun one. Like I said, we are going to be talking about other content creators in the Magic community today. In particular, smaller sized content creators are kind of the focus. Uh, we do, basically, John and I uh, kind of went through this idea of trying to support and promote other content creators and how can we do that. Um, part of that is going to be what we're going to discuss, which are the channels as a whole and some of the awesome things that they do, even though... They might be smaller content creators. They do really good work. There's plenty of awesome ones out there. And so we wanted to talk about those. We've each picked three that we're going to discuss. And then John has some honorable mentions he's going to run through as well. Um, on top of that, if you happen to be a content creator, a small time content creator in the magic world, you're going to want to stay tuned because we have got some interesting information for you uh, that hopefully will be a boost to your channel is the goal. Uh, and so we're going to talk about that at the end of the video so, or at the end of the episode. So do stick around for that. But I think, I mean, for, we can kind of just jump right in uh, if you want, John. What are you thinking? Yeah. yeah, man, I'm good. I'm good. I watch I watch these guys all the time. So, yeah, well, and yeah. I do need to disclaimer slightly here, which is that, uh, you know, John is very good in the community aspect. Uh, <laughs> and what I mean by that is he goes and hangs out with other content creators like all the time. That was part of the enticement behind bringing him into it resolves was he really represents that very very well uh whereas i don't um i'm very unsupportive of everybody no <laughs> i i would love to be supportive of everybody and i certainly do my best to to watch others videos and stuff like that however um working a full-time job and recording and being married um i've got a lot of things on my plate that inhibit my ability to do that so I do watch some other content creators, some small content creators, so I've got some on my list, uh, but obviously John is going to be the one who's really leading this discussion because he really is involved with a lot of other content creators. So, uh, John, if you want to kick us off, man. Yeah, so are we just, are we doing three and then one, or are we doing two and one? Let's do... Let's go back and forth. So you start with one of your small ones. I'll jump to one of mine, and then we'll we'll kind of leap back and forth, ending with the All larger right. ones. All right, we got it. We got it. Okay, so first up on the smaller, what we're kind of doing is picking under five thousand, under mm -hmm. five thousand subscribers for our smaller content creators. Which you know, five thousand is not very small when you're talking the MTG world and you're building up. So first up, though, I got uh, Cairo. Cairo is a 
man, I, I, I say it all the time. If you see me in the comments and everything, he's part monster, DNA tested, <laughs> online doctor approved. The guy grinds the ladder with Metadex mainly, which isn't always something somebody wants to see. You don't want mm -hmm. it. You kind of, everybody's kind of looking for the outside, the norm um, with the brew, you know, just what you're brewing up that's different. But uh, if you definitely want to see how to grind the lad ladder, and consistently make mythic in your seasons then uh cairo is definitely the guy to follow yeah cairo is super nice super sick at uh ranking up every single season it's ridiculous to watch him do that cairo really is a great content creator though i um i don't generally care so much about the like ranked side of it um as much as we actually play ranked i don't really care about making mythic that often that's not a goal of mine but it is kind of fun to watch somebody who's so dedicated to it, who does it very well, um, mm -hmm. and is just an absolute monster on the ladder. It's ridiculous to watch him play. So definitely top of my list too, but I know you claimed him, so I didn't get the opportunity. <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah, and I do want to give one quick shout out to him as well. He also does a new segment that he's uh, put into his programming as well, which is just kind of a game mechanics for beginners as well. They're just kind of short videos and mm -hmm. stuff uh, talking about each, each video talks about a separate mechanic or one or two mechanics within the game of magic. So if you're beginning and you want somebody that you know can consistently makes mythic and can give you some good advice on the mechanics and learning the mechanics of the cards. Um, definitely the dude to hit up and yeah. great guy, great guy. And he will talk to you in chat too. So you hit him up, he'll interact. Yeah. Having talked with him uh, a little bit, he's super, super nice. And like, he's one of those like super positive community members. And that's mm -hmm. such a rarity to be like relentlessly positive in the magic community because obviously, you know, you get tilted, you get salty, or you get very opinionated about something, and then all of a sudden there's that divide. And we've talked about that a lot, but Cairo is a great example of someone who just is like, nah, we're just going to be as positive as we can. And it just doesn't yeah. matter. Um, speaking of, I will jump into my first one, which uh, is Mana Man. Uh, which is another really um, right around 900 subs. He's working his way to 1,000, so uh, hopefully he can get there very soon. And I know he, speaking of personalities in the Magic community, <laughs> his personality is what shines through in each and every one of his videos. He does some really interesting segments as well. He also does things slightly differently. Um, he's not just focused on standard gameplay, which I think is kind of refreshing for me, having recorded <laughs> daily standard gameplay. Uh, it's nice to take a break from that and kind of take a look at some other formats. So he does a lot of things in other formats that's really fun to watch. It's all in Arena, but different formats. He, he kind of spreads that out a little bit. Um, but he also incorporates really fun little, like, questions of the day. Uh, you know, he does a little bit more to kind of spice things up a little bit. And with that in tandem with his personality he really sets the stage for just like a really fun individual to hang out with and talk to um he also uh so far as i can tell because i have gone back and kind of in preparation for this watched a number of videos both old and new from some of these creators and man a man does something different which is really shorter videos uh mm -hmm. if you notice he only plays like a single game and that's his highlight um, some people might see that as like a good or bad thing. I don't know. For me, it's kind of nice and refreshing because normally if you're watching gameplay, you're, you're stuck on the same deck for half an hour to an hour, depending on who you're watching. You know, uh, we personally at it resolves, try to keep it under about half an hour because of this reason. Um, it gets, it gets a little monotonous, right? Like we know what the deck does. We, we see it. Uh, he takes the opportunity to say, well, I'm going to show you a highlight game. This is how the deck works. This is it. And it's a really fun opportunity to kind of get your grasp on something, but then be able to jump to something else. And because, again, he's jumping into multiple formats, you get the opportunity to see a lot of variety. Uh, and it's an absolute blast. I really love talking with him and, and uh, watching his videos. They're, they're really fun. Yeah, man, I love him, dude. Uh, both of these guys, Cairo and Man, Man, we all came in to uh, arena and doing the videos all about the same time. So we actually, we talk behind the scenes on Twitter. We've got our own little group and mm -hmm. uh, we talk quite a bit 
just to kind of bounce ideas and and kind of let off steam and stuff like that because there is that there are there are youtube frustrations and stuff like that with content creation but yes. uh this is my group man this is my group i'm kind of biased but i i love him man um his personality believe it or not is that that you see on screen maybe yeah. the only thing that he soups up a little bit's the intros with the man of man uh persona but that is his personality off screen as well he's just that nice and just kind of i don't know energizing i guess yeah absolutely but um he's also got yeah, great man. hair <laughs> he does man it's that oh hairdo, my gosh dude. it's that hairdo it's that curly hairdo yes, thing yes i'm so um, jealous <laughs> <laughs> but he is dude he's great he is yeah. great um yeah i would uh he has shortened his videos down mm -hmm. to make it a single gameplay I don't know if staying out of standard. I know I know the big crowd is in standard, sure. um, but he does enjoy dipping out of standard, which a lot of people talk about. You know, I don't, I'm tired of standard meta, meta yeah. still, and all that. Well, he he dips into alchemy and explorer and historic and stuff, and mainly alchemy. He's he's really tried to play it out, um, he, but not because of it's a different format. It's just you get different cards with different interactions. Yeah. Well, and I think too, uh, uh, to, to kind of build on your point here, like, and this, this goes for, I would suggest most of the people, if not all of them on our list, um, but also, you know, in particular, Cairo and Mana Man are great examples of people who they know, right, that like standard gameplay, just general gameplay is probably going to be the big hitter in terms of gameplay content. And certainly, mm -hmm. you know, Cairo kind of adheres to that on some level, but with his own twist, because that's what he loves to do. And man of man, you can tell when he's doing, you know, especially alchemy, like you said right now, that's where his passion is. And like one thing, I, you know, we didn't plan to talk about this, but one thing I would suggest as a content creator, especially if you have to be new and just getting into it, the most important thing you can do is make the content that you would enjoy watching or you enjoy recording. Um, and so, you know, I, I've actually had to grow my love for standard because I was always like anti-standard uh, in Magic. I'm much more of a modern player. Like that's where my heart's at. I love Cube. I love all these kinds of formats. But standard, I've had to learn that love. Now, I do love it now. But honestly, in the beginning, like I love doing like crack packs and like random collection stuff because that's truly where my heart's at. And that's what I did for years. And it got like no views, <laughs> but it was yeah. fun, you know, and like I will say, you know, as a word of advice to other content creators and having gone through the frustrations of, you know, I feel like I'm working really hard for this, but there's no retention or there's no view count. There's no whatever. If you're enjoying the content you're creating that stuff will happen eventually it may take years it probably will but eventually those things happen it's much more important that you're enjoying that content and just creating it because you enjoy creating it um and i've i being a relatively creative individual when it comes to like different different things so graphic design web design video production um music production like i've got a lot of these outlets that i just like being a part of i was in a band for a long time and i know this sounds like a tangent but at the time um you know everybody was like oh we gotta make it you know get on get on tour do the whole thing and i'm like honestly i just kind of like making music guys <laughs> like i don't really want to go on tour i just want to be able to listen to this in 5 10 20 years and be like wow i made that and like that was the driving factor for me and that's been the driving factor behind it resolves for the longest time as well and truthfully that is a much more motivating place oh sorry my dog just barked that's a much yeah, more smart. motivating place to be when it comes to content creation yeah no i think you hit it right there i think that's nail on the head um with the content creation and stuff you know you got to figure out what you're focused on or you are you focused on the love of the game and what you're creating and your content or are you focused on, you know, subscribers and stuff like that? Um, I think, I think the more, I think the healthier thing would be to be focused on the content that you're creating and be in love with that game and that content creation. And, uh, but it is hard, man. It's hard not to sit there and look at numbers when you're doing it, but I mm -hmm. do agree. You gotta be, you got, 
the creation aspect of it is cool. You're putting that out to the world for everybody yeah. to see. And everybody can. Everybody may not be finding you, but everybody can see it. And that yeah. opens you up to critique and and positive oh, yeah. feedback. And you start building your community and stuff. But, uh, yeah, no, I do. I, I dig it, man. I dig man to man um, before I get too far off. Yeah, please. There, <laughs> there's only two things uh there's 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 something about man and man that i like and i'm gonna i'm gonna kind of put him up with another individual is mtg malone yeah um i've only got two content creators that i know that i can enjoy their video just as much as if i'm watching it or listening to it Mm -hmm. man and man and mtg malone they're yep. the only two that check both those boxes for me. I can watch their video and be entertained. I can listen to their video and be entertained. So, 100%. And I think there's it. something to speak to that for sure. That's a that's a superpower in the world of YouTube, man. If you don't, you yeah. know. <laughs> um, but no, I agree. Um, and MTG Malone is bigger than the list allowed for. But man, yeah. what a great, great content guy, creator. Great yeah. guy. Great guy. Um, he followed us on Twitter. Thanks, MTG Malone. <laughs> He's hilarious, dude. I love him. Yeah, he's so (laughs) fun. Um, Okay, so moving on to your (laughs) second one. My second one is one that is, I want to say, right above a 1,000, which is Average Gamer. Yeah. And Average Gamer clicks off a couple boxes here. He does it a little bit differently, too. But Average Gamer is more like a brewer. Mm -hmm. Um, you'll see different decks every day and it's usually in standard actually i don't know that i've seen him play anything outside of standard but he takes them into standard events to test them so he's basically gym farming with these standard (laughs) deck list man dude puts out some strong list strong list and you'll only see him on the intros of his videos when he's talking to you on the intros and then it goes into the gameplay so if you're a person that doesn't really like the camera in the gameplay all the time average gamer would be one for you he still talks throughout the gameplay but uh all you'll see is just the game board itself Mm -hmm. but uh his brews are strong man i've copied quite a few of them that i used (laughs) on the live stream so uh but he's a lot of fun to watch man a lot of fun and the deck lists that he builds are really interactive i love it you actually just showed me average gamer like Mm pre-record or pre this video by like a day or two um, and I have yet, I've checked him out. So I watched one video, but I haven't like dug deep into his videos, but he's a really good individual when it comes to just the, con- even, you know, stepping away from magic, just the content creation aspect of it. He's really fun and really, really good. Um, and so I'm kind of excited to see what, uh, where he lands. Cause he's really, he's up there for me as well. Yeah. He's climbing fast, man. He's climbing fast. So if you guys yeah. get on board right now, uh, you can be here and say that you help build up his community. Average yes. gamer is a good one, man. The yeah. brew labs that he's got going on inside his head, man. It Ridiculous. just makes me makes me wonder. But that's yeah. that's kind of <laughs> what draws me to that channel, man, is uh the interactions of the deck list that he puts together. And he does. He just goes into standard events and he'll show you what what happens with them. Um every once in a while he doesn't do a standard event, mm-hmm. but more often than not, he is doing the standard event. And then yeah. he'll show you how it pulled out of that event and stuff, which is really cool, man. Yeah. Really cool. It's a good way to test decks too. If you yeah. guys, if if you're thinking about doing content creation, that's a super easy format to get into right there. Yep. Just take your deck list, build it up, take it into standard, and then tell people how it did within that seven game format. Mm-hmm. So it kind of sets that format or the 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 contents format for you Mm -hmm. because there's a start and end to an event so it's like a really easy way to say like okay i'm only going to be in it for this long or this many games or whatever uh so yeah great opportunity there um well i'm going to move to my second one which i believe is i think maybe the smallest channel on the list Mm -hmm. i believe uh symphonier's gaming who here's the thing this dude is a freaking genius oh my gosh okay so let me to set the stage really quick he like mana man plays a lot of different formats he's also trying some like shorts and like things like that so he's he's kind of in that like early stage of figuring out exactly maybe where he wants to land his channel uh which is perfectly reasonable especially being on the lower end of the sub count like it's okay that's what this is for so like i hope that it works out for him long term 
but oh my gosh, I, I, months ago, months ago, I found him in through Aether Hub, uh, and I found one of his deck lists. And normally, like, if I play, like, an MTG Malone list, you know, or an ori MTG Arena original list or whatever it might be, like, I know that they put in the time for the list and all that stuff. With a new channel, like Symphony or Gaming, who I had not heard of at the time, I was like, okay, let me go check out the video that he posted with the deck list just to see, you know, what kind of thought he put into it. Dude, I have never met somebody who put so much yeah, thought bro. into every little thing and it's down to the data he's like he's like well if i uh if i add that third copy that ups my percentage chance to 73.2 and i'm like what in the world are you talking about um i mean he he's exactly right but like it was just yeah. fascinating to me because i i get that like the data driven quote unquote stuff is the not fun part of magic for a lot mm -hmm. of people like, I totally get that most people just want to see a cool deck. They want to see it work. They don't want to put the thought into it. And that's totally fine. That's why you got to have a fun, engaging, hopefully, personality. Um, and so it was really nice, though, because this was like a break from all that. And it's just someone who's really good at the game, who has thought through every little decision that he made for a deck. And then he goes and shows you how it works. And it's just, oh, my gosh, it's phenomenal. Like, this dude needs more subs, like 100%. He deserves yeah. it. Yeah. He he is putting in the work because he enjoys it, and you can clearly tell. Yeah, man, I tell you. Uh, look, I'll do a behind the scenes here, guys. We were gonna text back and forth our list that we picked. Yeah, and uh, I didn't get. <laughs> I knew what I was picking already. Yeah. Um, I think I'd already sent you kind of a list, mm -hmm. but uh, I got I got Kevin's list this morning, and. I didn't even know he knew about symphonies. Oh, yeah. I knew about symphonies. I didn't know he knew about it. Man, what an awesome pick! I even I even told him that's yeah that's a good that's a spicy pick right there, man. This kid is IQ one thousand. He is like ninety nine point nine percent of the time. I don't even know if he's got that point one that falls <laughs> off anywhere. I love it, man. I love yeah. it. I love it. If you want, if you want a, just a really deep dive into what the thought process is when you're building a deck list like that uh symphonies is it man and yeah. it, and, he, and it conveys perfectly across uh, across his content while he's mm -hmm. recording um yeah this kid's gonna be big he's also big. just got i don't know what it is but his voice is so soothing yeah, he's like dude. sitting there talking about data and like you know this percentage and this and i'm just like oh thank you what his decks are the decks are fun oh you yeah know? oh and, yeah I mean, absolutely. He just, but yeah he yeah dude this kid look i i don't i'm not a super competitive guy in sports outside of <laughs> magic the gathering and billiards like pool uh nobody calls it billiards but okay well they do in <laughs> they do in england they do i promise <laughs> but okay, uh, fair. in pool without having to explain not the swimming time or yes. not the swimming type the balls and pockets but uh <laughs> In Magic, I'll step up. I'll compete with anybody. I don't yeah. care who you are. Come on and play and blah, blah, blah. He'd make me a little nervous, man. Oh, 100%. He'd make me nervous. He'd make he's me like nervous because I'd be people... worried he'd... I'd he's... be worried he'd be reading my mind while I'm playing. So. He could be. <laughs> he's one of those people that I feel like if he was, like, I guess older, because he's... I don't know his age or anything. Like, I have no clue. But he seems younger, I would assume. Um he's one of those dudes that like if he came up during the like lsv in pro tour you know reed duke pro tour like that age like mm -hmm. 15 10 15 years ago if he was like on that level that he is now he would have been a pro player like a hundred percent i feel like he i yeah. don't know if that's his goal or not but like he is very good um and so i don't know he just seems like the guy who's gonna think through every little thing and he's like well if i put one of these in here that gives me at least a 5% chance of winning against, you know, this graveyard deck or whatever it might be. Um, he texts it out to the max. It's great. Yeah, no, I think that's a perfect way to explain it. I think he's got pro, I think he's got pro player mentality, mm -hmm. but somehow conveys it. Yeah. Uh, and I'm talking, I'm not talking down to anybody else. I'm talking no, about no, myself. No, no. Yeah. He conveys it in layman's terms. 
this yep. dude right here. Yep. <laughs> and and it and it feeds it feeds into my mind okay where I can actually digest it yeah, and uh and kind of sponge it up. But uh no man, I absolutely love the channel. I didn't know you even knew about the channel. Yeah, I, I, absolutely. I should have I should have definitely put you on to it, but you did, so that's yeah. great. But yeah, great. He's pick, a good one. Spicy. Spicy, spicy. Yep. Yeah. All right. Uh so for these last two, uh we each mm -hmm. chose one that was um <clears throat> I guess below ten thousand was the limit um but above five thousand, yeah. something like that yep. um and so the idea is that these are creators content creators that are similar to the it resolves channel in numbers for the most part um but obviously they corner a different piece of the market or do whatever and uh so who who was your pick for this one so my pick for this one's going to be jay villain yeah so if you guys haven't known jay's been around jay just hit his two-year anniversary mark uh this past week so oh, nice. on youtube so jay congratulations on your anniversary for that but yeah man the lord of darkness <laughs> um he stops in the live stream i hang out on his twitch stream uh he does if you guys haven't ever checked it out and uh the reason i like him is because you can go to his twitch stream you can see what his video is going to be of the next day uh he does all of his gameplay with his deck list and then he signs off but he doesn't sign off so stick around because he caught me with it like the first three times i was like <laughs> click out and he does a shakedown breakdown at the end yep. which is the opening of his videos in youtube and uh i don't know man jay just jay hates the meta jay's a brewer jay's a lot like me in mentality with you know um oh well I take that back. He absolutely hates Esper. <laughs> so, <laughs> so. And, but uh, Jay and I are a lot of back and forth. Just, um, I mean, it's a lot of teasing, but, you know, the friendly type. But uh, Jay is a brewer, man. You're not going to see it anything you expect in a j build it's it's going to be some off the wall budget card that he dug up from the basement that's been setting in a set the entire year that nobody's ever played yeah um now nah, man jay is just uh jay's a real fun guy to talk talk with and uh his streams are really chill and he and he communicates back and forth with the crowd and stuff but uh jay's always been real nice to me even when i started and was coming up mm -hmm. before uh before we even partnered up but uh nah man jay villain dude the lord of darkness man love yeah. him he's a super nice dude like he he comments a lot and hangs out a lot with it resolves on some of our videos and everything and it's always a pleasure to see him hanging out and commenting and talking with us and you know all that stuff but yeah his videos such a brewer man you can just tell immediately it's such a it's a passion thing for him you know what i mean like he just likes to to make cool things out of things you wouldn't expect it's awesome oh yeah yeah and you gotta love the intros too man we're gonna yeah. have him on at some point because he's gotta tell people he's gotta if he ever comes on jay it's gonna be a prerequisite you're gonna have to tell people you know gently hit that subscribe button tenderly tenderly hit that thumbs up <laughs> or that <laughs> like button I mean, we'll get him to do no. that for sure yeah however he does it the same way every time and it's still it, it it's a jay thing i don't yeah. i don't try to get it exactly in my head but yeah it it's throws cool. me off every one i feel like i'm reading an adult novel while i'm listening to it. <laughs> it's <laughs> like damn it jay <laughs> but no jay's great guys yeah. uh definitely a lot of fun to hang out with and talk magic with but be careful be careful because you can't just go in and randomly talk magic with him this dude knows his stuff yeah you gotta know has been around since the opening of magic uh since the beginning and uh he knows it man he yeah. knows it he knows he knows the lore um he'll deep dive you right there when yep. you ask a question so definitely go check him out he streams on twitch and then he puts out his videos every day on youtube great guy Absolutely. Uh, my pick for this one, uh, sitting around 6,000 subs, a little over. Uh, so mm -hmm. uh, basically like right around the size that it resolves is, but Swayze is my pick. Uh, dude, you look at quality, you look at work ethic, you look at personality. It's a summation of all the things in one channel. Uh, an absolute blast to watch. Uh, truly, I mean, he does a lot of really awesome deck builds as well. He works really hard at that, and he knows his stuff. I mean, it's very apparent. Um, but he, again, kind of conveys it in a way that's like, no, this is just, we're going to have some fun. We're going to enjoy this one. It's going to be a great time. And uh, 
I, I was watching one of his videos, actually, I believe it was yesterday, and I think it was the first time, surprisingly, that I saw him get really, like, a little upset about a game. He was just not drawing, you know, what he needed mm -hmm. to draw, which, hey, we've all been there. But uh, Swayze is a really, really nice dude. Um, he has hung out with us here on It Resolves as well. Um, he commented recently on the new thumbnails that we made for the gameplay videos and was very supportive of that. But he's just a great, all-around great guy. Uh, and, again, because he's at that, you know, the the sub marker that he's been at it long enough he's he's built that that audience like he's he's got the start there he has that work ethic and that scheduling and everything kind of in place for himself and so it's clear that he's just so well set up to do well in the long term and my hope is that um you know his channel will continue to grow and everything because he certainly deserves the the support he's an amazing individual yeah, man, you know, I'm going to do this. You know, yeah. I'm going to do this. Yeah. So look, man, Swayze is one of the first MTG arena uh, content creators that I found on YouTube actually got me into this. Uh, it was Swayze and Watts just watching those two guys have fun mm -hmm. brewing and playing all the time. And that's when I was just like, well, I brew, I play, maybe I can do this. Yeah not to their level yet it's always a learning thing i'm getting there but uh <laughs> but uh swayze is just a ton of fun man dude just super positive all the time if you guys don't know uh you'll see it on stream i hope he doesn't mind i mean he's got he's got two sons he's married mm -hmm. he holds a full-time job with the family and he's keeping down his channel as well this guy prioritizes left and right and his priorities for the channel are spot on. He wants the integrity of his videos and he wants the quality of his videos. Mm -hmm. And he's always trying to find a way to read the analytics to prioritize that the way people want to see. Yep. Um, he's trying out something new this week where he does the deck list at the end of the videos, but kind of gives you a snapshot at the beginning, mm -hmm. but then does the deep dive at the end uh, because it, you know, analytics shows. Analytics will show you where people drop off in viewership. Yep. And so he cut out the deck list to the end of the videos. Look, this guy's reading it. He's reading it. Uh, super positive, conveys across the camera really well with that super positive vibe. Uh, his live streams are every Wednesday night. Um, I think it's 8 p.m. to 10 p.m. Central Standard Time. Um, I think he is Mountain Time. I don't know but, for sure. Uh, but 8 p.m. to 10 p.m. Central Standard Time on Wednesdays. And that's the only day that he does the live streams, except every once in a while he'll do a weekend thing. Go hang out with him, man. Super humble, super nice, always talking to chat. Um, yeah, dude, the kid, he's just great. And now and now I moderate Wednesday nights. On yeah, you do. Because I'm that. there. I'm there every Wednesday. And I, I was giving him grief, not this week, but past week uh he was getting the spam bots yeah. you, you know you know the ones oh, yeah. the ones that everybody's trying to hit that link really fast don't hit that <laughs> link um and i was like dude just get a moderator sir yep. and he's like well i'm kind of looking i don't know who i trust i'm like well i'm here every wednesday anyways and boom i yep. had moderator <laughs> so, <laughs> so i'm on swayze stream every wednesday night watching this kid He's great, man. I say kid, but young man. Um, he's just, man, yeah, he's got it there, man. He's yeah. got it. He, I, he's got it. I don't, you know, everybody's got something different going on behind the sh scenes. Uh, you don't know what content creators, real life, it's always like. So I'm sure there's stressors there and stuff like that. But he does not let that bleed through on his streams or his no. videos. Yeah. Usually super positive, super great guy. The most he'll complain about is his allergies. Definitely go hang out with him, bro. <laughs> Definitely that. go hang out with him, man. Yeah. I love the kid. I do. I do, man. I keep saying kid. I shouldn't. But uh, no, yeah. definitely, man. Somebody I've been watching since I even started this and uh, somebody I'll continue to watch and root for. And I'd help him out any way I could. Yeah. He's just that good, man that good and he's got his priorities straight so yes. and he's easy to digest when you're watching the videos. He's a lot of fun and easy to digest. So. Mm -hmm. For sure. Um, well, with that, I know you had a couple of honorable mentions. Do you want to rattle those off real quick, and then we'll kind of go into a couple the final, a couple. <laughs> a Sorry, couple. a paragraph. Right. <laughs> I do, I do. Uh, Clive Phoenix. 
Yes. Check it out. Standard uh, Deckless Master, man. If you if you like to listen to Deckless, Clive Phoenix. And we got Black Hammer, uh, another standard content creator, right at over a thousand. Uh, a lot of people may not know him, but great guy. Uh, starting to do streaming as well. Copyright Gaming, MTG Hillbilly, MTG Tragedy. Brother, I know you got the new job. I hope you get back to making content on the regular again. Uh, I really miss it, and I would love to see you back on. Uh, MTGA, Brew Lab, Dark Master Gaming, Nerdy Steve is doing uh, YouTube videos now, Sci High 420, Red Cat MTG, and the return of Dr. Ruckus MTG. There it is. There it is. Look at that. You're so... Man, these are my guys. Man. I know, <laughs> I love it. Guys. I really... I will. I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to gaslight right here. Hopefully it's not gaslighting. Hopefully it's just bringing up this. And if anybody is watching this and you noticed, and this may be another content, this may be another podcast here in the future, bro. Okay. He didn't, he didn't know I was going to do this. I promise no. I'm not going to blow it up. <laughs> oh, <laughs> if you, if you noticed that there wasn't a female YouTuber on there. Oh, if you know of one that falls within that 1,000, 5,000, or any, just shout them out in the comments below. I know we've got Alias V and Nerd Girl and, and Amy Game. Amazonia and Ash Shizzle. Who? Pixie. Um, yeah. Um, I, I mean, there's, there's tons of them, but these are the more established. If you know of any that are new and up and coming, yeah. let us know because uh, I'm just... I just type in MTG Arena and Standard and hit for the last week, and I only go through about the top 50. Yeah. So it wasn't intentional. I would love to have brought one to the forefront to uh, promote. Yeah. But uh, the ones that I just named off are already really established and stuff. But uh, something to think about. They're all over Twitter. I yeah. don't know if the, if the YouTube breakout market is a thing that's – you know, that they're not wanting to try and do or what, or if they're there and we can't find them, definitely shout them out below though. Please do. Um, that is one area where we, we didn't discuss that you were going to talk about that here, but it's no. a great point to make <laughs> that, um, you know, obviously the female male divide in magic uh, mm -hmm. is a podcast all in itself. As you mentioned, there's a lot there. Um, I'll just go ahead and say the stance that it resolves, well, I'll say me personally, and I think John, I can safely speak for you in this regard. I don't want to, yeah. but I believe you and I agree in this regard. It doesn't matter if you're male or female. If you're here to enjoy the game, you're here to enjoy the game. If you want to make content around the game, please do. Like more content creators means more, more stuff out there for everybody to enjoy. So like, just do it. That's great. Um, I, I don't think that should be a barrier. I understand that some people have experiences that may, you know, if a female has been negatively impacted at an F and M, maybe, maybe she decides not to be a content creator. And I absolutely hate that those barriers are there because it's just ridiculous. Like people should feel safe, should feel comfortable and should enjoy the game. doesn't matter yeah. who, what you are. I don't care. Just enjoy the game. That's what we're all here to do. Um, and if, I, I, I don't know, that's, that's one like big area that seemed to really come up a couple of years ago in particular, um, when we, it results was much smaller and it was just like a, I don't know. It was just such a silly argument to me to say like, no, one person shouldn't be in the game or anything. Like who cares? It doesn't matter. Yeah. We're all here to have fun. <laughs> like, no, man, look, I'll be, I'll be, uh, I'll be a hundred percent honest here. If I wanted to know draft, if draft was my game, mm -hmm. I would go watch MTG nerd girl and ASB. Yeah. yeah. I Absolutely. would hands down. They would be the two that I would be watching because yeah. they do it relentlessly yeah, they do. <laughs> in, a, in a good way. Yeah, yeah. But, um, no, man, uh, we, we have, we have, uh, females that hang out on the live stream and mm -hmm. I, I hate even saying females. So we, we you know, we, we have people we, that enjoy the game. That our hang community out with is us. made up of everybody yes. and it does not matter what anything is, as long yeah. as you enjoy magic and want to come and play and talk magic. Yes. So, um, but there is that, there was that gap in there that I noticed when we were doing this and mm -hmm. I figured it might come up. And if it does, Hey, look, we know, Yeah. we know but bring it to our attention if you know somebody or if you've got you know let's keep it gentle yeah. <laughs> but but um yeah 
if you know somebody that you think should be drawn to our attention or that would want to work with us or whatever, as long as you like magic, don't care. No, yeah. There is no real prerequisite. It's just Mm -mm. if you want to hang out and play magic, we're here for that. So it's pretty straightforward to us, at least. Um, But speaking of that and speaking of potentially helping up helping out uh other content creators um this has been a big thing for me personally um and growing the channel over the course of gosh like six or seven years now um it's been a long time holy shit uh anyway (laughs) over the course of that time i have more times than i care to admit reached out for assistance uh whether that be collaboration efforts whether that be sponsorship efforts whether that be anything like that uh, to help try and boost the numbers while also hopefully helping somebody else in the process. Um, 99% of the time, those fell through for a variety of reasons because people weren't interested, because I was a small channel at the time or whatever. Um, and I get it. Like, I totally understand. However, um, personally, uh, and again, I'm, I won't speak for you, John, but I believe, again, you and I are very similar in this regard. I... I really wish there was an avenue for small time creators to, or new creators to kind of show what they've got in front of an audience that they know already enjoys the game. Um, With that in mind, John and I have worked uh, over the last week to kind of create a promotional program that we hope will help smaller creators um, get in front of the It Resolves audience. Now, before we go too far into this, I understand that It Resolves uh, as as far as the audience goes, we are larger than a lot. We're smaller than a lot. So I'm, I'm keeping ourselves in perspective with the, the gutters on, knowing that, hey, we have an audience. We have a great core audience, and I'm very happy to say a very positive one. But at the same time, we are not the biggest channel out there. So I know that you know if, if you are a content creator, you decide to go through with this program, we know what we have to offer. I get it. However... Uh, we would like to offer up chances for smaller creators to post videos on our channel uh, promoting your channel so we can get more people from the It Resolves audience over to your audience uh, or to help grow your audience. Uh, Now, what that looks like, again, John and I have worked really hard to kind of create this process, make sure it's as easy as possible and as smooth as possible, is essentially you record a video, you agree to some things, we've got a form that we can send you and all that stuff, Uh, and on that, uh, you send us the video, we do the editing. That's mostly just for quality assurance, uh, and for consistency. And then we post it up on our YouTube channel, promoting your YouTube channel. So you get to literally say at the beginning, Hey, I'm a guest on it resolves. I'd love for you guys to come check me out, etc." And then we're going to link you over. So people will come to your channel is, is the goal. Um, Now, there are some fine details with all of that that obviously are things that we can work out individually with other channels. So please keep that in mind that um, we have tried to think of every avenue here. Um, And the way that you would like, if if you want to take uh, take advantage of this opportunity, please feel free to email us it.resolves.mtg.com or at gmail.com, excuse me, or... You can just contact us via the form online. You can, you know, DM us on any platform, whatever. We can send you that form. We're being somewhat selective in that process. Just if a channel, again, mostly for quality assurance, we try really hard at it resolves to keep that quality really, really high uh, in every aspect of the channel. And while this is obviously a completely separate piece to that, we do want to make sure that we're representing and putting things in front of the It Resolves community that we also believe in. And so if you are just really just starting out and you've got some work to do on that end, we would like to offer some encouragement and hopefully help give you some avenues. But that's more of a discussion behind the scenes, not a promotion on the channel. We can talk about that, though, as we go through and we'll be as supportive as we can. Uh, for any new content creators. So basically what we're trying to do is open up this avenue for smaller creators because we didn't have it ourselves. Um, at the very least, I know I didn't. And so I want I want small creators to be able to promote themselves in front of a hopefully larger audience. And that's where this is coming from. Um, I know that was a long-winded explanation, but I think I got everything, John. Yeah, no, I think that's pretty much it, man. And uh, yeah, there's nothing wrong. There is a continuity and, and 
and to to the way that we expect you to you know create the videos and we mm -hmm. would want to put out on ours uh we definitely want you to kind of get some establishment but we don't want you to feel like you're out in the wind even if you're small and just up and coming you can always stop by the live stream uh, you can't drop a link because that's blocked but yeah. <laughs> uh, you can definitely say hey i got a new channel yeah can you go check it out i'm fine with that I'm absolutely fine with that. I know some people aren't. I don't care. And yeah. um, I'm not in competition with anybody. I create my own stuff. We create our own stuff here. Um, Kevin's got the video aspects. I've got the live streaming. Um, and and we're here to support other people up and coming. And it is a hard thing, guys. It is a hard thing to go about by yourself. So we're kind of just offering that hand. Hey, you're not, you're not entirely by yourself. But it is up to you to sell it yeah. when you bring it to us. So yeah. when you when you if you decide to do something like this, give us give us some good stuff. Give us some good stuff because we're going to throw it out in front of the audience, and then they're going to be able to go check you out. And um, hopefully, you know, you get a little bit of sub count shift with it. Um, I don't know if it will or not. I mean, I'm sure there'll be some that see more than others. But uh, yeah, man, I like it. I really do. It was. Uh, I got lucky because, like I said, I got Man to Man and Cairo mm -hmm. at the same time that I came in, and Cairo and I did a collab, and we were always talking and stuff uh, behind the scenes, and uh, I'd love to do a collab with Man to Man as well. Uh, but, uh, yeah, man, there is frustration. I'm not, I'm not saying you can't reach out to bigger channels, but it almost feels a little not right. Yeah to do that at what size you are coming in because you still feel like you got to prove yourself to a degree which you kind of do mm -hmm. you got to show the consistency of always putting out your your content and stuff but uh but yeah i think uh i love it i love the idea when we discussed it i like the idea of doing the spotlight on saturdays and stuff um if that's where we're going to do it if that's mm -hmm. where that lands um and i like the fact that it opens the door for people to bring in and may and I don't know every content creator out there. No, yeah. So uh, I don't think either one of us do. But, yeah, I like the idea of it, man. I definitely like the idea of it. I, I, I'm 100% support trying to support other content creators on yes. their way up. And that is 100% the goal behind all of this. Um, for anybody that might be questioning, well, if it's going on your channel, do you get to monetize it and all that stuff? I'm going to go ahead and quell this now just in case. Um, there are options for monetization, including not monetizing, but all of that is up to the creator who creates the video, not us. So I just want to clarify that we're not yeah. doing this just as like a, we get ad revenue, which by the way, is not what you think it is anyway. Um, no, no. but, no. <laughs> um, just to clarify that up front, the, the goal of this is 100% to promote smaller channels that are working hard, but don't have that audience built yet. Um, and my hope is that for us, uh, as in John and I, uh, but also the greater community, we get to hopefully build it up and work towards, you know, creating more awesome content creators. Because in my view, the more content creators we have, the more successful the, the whole thing is, you know what I mean? The whole game. And so, um, yeah, I mean, there's the competition aspect. We're helping out our competition and all that stuff. I don't see YouTube as being that platform of pure competition. I know, you mm -hmm. know, in the business sense, there's some of that there. But like, my thing is, if we can help another creator get stronger or get better, why wouldn't we do that? Um, it just seems like an easy avenue to to promote others. So that's really where this was born from, uh, out of pure frustration on my end, uh, for when I was doing this. No, I'm just kidding. Um, <laughs> no, no, man. no, but I do like that. Uh, look, it's a YouTube community guys. It is. Somebody's always going to have larger numbers. Somebody's always going to have smaller numbers. Um, we're all kind of in this fight together to a degree. Mm -hmm. but separate uh but there's nothing that says we can't hand you know kind of lend a hand along the way and i don't i honestly man i honestly i think you and i are creative enough and, and dive deep enough into our own creative aspects that i i honestly i don't see anybody as competition no i, don't I mean i know there's channels out there that are 50 times larger than ours yeah. <laughs> but we're but, looking at you uh, over at go blue um, yeah, but uh but i don't see him as competition man no. he's just he's another personality i mean he's definitely you know that yeah you brought him up but that is yeah. the channel that everybody That's... wants to aspire to and uh, definitely the type i look there's only going to be one covert go blue yeah 
Yeah. There is. I mean, so don't don't mask yourself against him. Make your no. own stuff. Uh, but we're all one community. All one community. Yes, and if if we can be a catalyst to support the greater community, then that's what we're gonna do. Um, and yeah, to your point, uh, as a word of advice to any any content creator, it is perfectly reasonable to garnish motivation from larger content creators. I 100% understand and take part in that myself. I look at Covert Go Blue and I'm like, man, I wish I had that subscriber number, you know, all that stuff. Um, I think the important thing and the trap that gets easily fallen into is that they the emulation becomes the problem. You, you start to try and emulate what another channel is doing. And again, certainly I've fallen into that trap, but the reality is until you break away from that emulation and do something that is whole, wholeheartedly you, um, even if that means you're still doing gameplay, but your personality is showing and you're doing something that's genuinely like true to who you are as, as a content creator, that's when things start to start to really matter. Um, and until you do that, um, you will always find a bit of a block, uh, I would argue. And so our opportunity or, or the hope here is that you guys have the opportunity to show what you have in front of our audience. Uh, and, and as John alluded to, um, that that's a once a week basis. So there's only one slot available every week. It's first come first serve. Um, we're throwing those out on Saturday. I think the plan is going to be noon Eastern standard time every Saturday. Uh, and so the goal is if we've gotten enough in great, we're going to throw them out there. If nobody bites on this and nobody wants to promote, it's totally fine too. We just won't have it there. Um, but the idea is to hopefully give you guys that avenue. So I encourage you take advantage of it. We'll work with you as best we can to make sure that it's, um, as, as beneficial to you as possible with that goal in mind. Um, that's certainly informing all the decision-making behind the scenes. So, uh, yeah, I think that's it. We hope to work yeah, with man. you. Hell yeah. We just gave you our Saturday afternoons on this channel. Take yeah, advantage of that's it. That's like Saturday so, afternoon is like prime time, people. If any other bigger channel had offered me into this, which. Hey. Country Fried for Channel It Resolves. I did that. By the way. <laughs> um, yeah, I would have jumped at it, man. I yeah. would have jumped at it. I'd oh, be like, yeah. hell yeah, put me out front. But yeah, man. No, as far as I know, do. nobody else does this in the, in the um, magic community. I, I maybe not I'm offering wrong. not offering the slot. I okay. know I I want to say maybe a year, year and a half ago, mm -hmm. CGB was offering it up on Twitch oh, to do sick. shout outs, to do shout oh, outs. Okay. Yeah. Which to is channels fair. and lower and, and smaller content creators that he had that he had found or people had brought to his attention that he had liked. Um, I don't know that it stuck uh, just cause I mean, look, man, CGB is big enough. Now it's, it's not even that he's not trying to help. It's just, he's probably got a crap ton of shit. Going I was going to say but, he's uh, busy as hell. <laughs> yeah. But look, you want to be that big. You better find that work ethic because yeah. that dude, I guarantee you, man, just from seeing what we see on our side, uh, this crap is a lot of work, man. Yeah. And like you alluded to, uh, find yourself, man. YouTube is about to be the digital mushroom trip in the desert that you never <laughs> knew. You have got to find yourself to yes. finally to finally be uh, comfortable. And that's what starts conveying to your audience. Yes. So uh, find yourself. But uh, yeah, man, if another bigger channel had offered me up one of their time slots during the week, uh, I would have jumped at it. So I can line up. Yep. <laughs> line up and bring it please Give do us guys best stuff. um Give and again best stuff. the way you do that is to just contact us in any any means that you feel reasonable enough to do um just make sure as part of that that you send us your channel link so that way we can do a quick you know check on what kind of content you're doing and that kind of stuff just to make sure that mm -hmm. it aligns um but there really isn't too much of a prerequisite there it's more just let's make sure that you know, the quality is there and all that stuff. So I wish you guys the best of well, luck with that. We hope it works. Well, there's also a slot for your social links and stuff on there too, but yeah, there is, but I just mean in the, out, in the if, initial yeah. contact. So that yeah. way we get the opportunity to look through and, and see what you're doing. Um, but yeah, that's it. It should be a really yeah. great opportunity for everybody. It's a so. full shout out. Take advantage of it. Please do. And it's, I mean, literally free. And in fact, in some yeah. ways you can get paid for it. So you that's a nice little bonus you do get paid if you would like to uh we'll talk about mm -hmm. that if you go for it uh all that to say though guys we are coming to the end of the episode all of the channels we are talking about um i'm gonna do my best to remember to link everything down below uh that way you guys can go check them out i hope that i remember 
I'm um, not sending you the names, man. I'm going to make you go back and watch this. You're the worst. I remember. It's fine. <laughs> um, but please do go check out these content creators. If you do see that Saturday slot open up with a guest uh, content creator, go check them out as well. Uh, if they're on the channel, it means we believe in supporting them just as a heads up. So go check all that out. But we do get to come to the end of the episode where we just get to chat about whatever we want. Uh, what you got, John? All right, man. If you're faint of heart, dip out. Dip out. If you're, if you, if you, <laughs> this is just, this is mother nature, man. It's the pets. Oh no. So uh, we've got, we've got the two dogs and then we got the two cats, the brother, sister cats mm -hmm. um, and the male. So the sister is always the one that, kills baby blue jays and they end up attacking <laughs> Jeez. the backyard i got i got dive i told you about getting dive bomb in the back of the head that yeah. blue jay hit me so hard in the back of the head it split my head open a little bit i mean I blue jay's got sorry. some power yeah. <laughs> blue jay's got some power well her brother thought she was trying to one up her i'm sitting on the back porch drinking a beer and watching jay villain one night and this idiot cat <laughs> Jump, jumps jumps over our porch the railing um and not one but two baby rabbits oh no in its mouth in its mouth yeah i feel horrible man so i had to bag them up and take them out to the trash so dude sad. i feel bad yeah well uh, and then the night before last jumps over the fence and i wasn't paying any attention to it he didn't have rabbits in his mouth i was cool and i'm sitting there watching some jay villain on the back porch after stream again and he starts meowing really loud, mm -hmm. which he only does if he wants in or he's caught something. Mm. I turn the flashlight on my phone and there's a snake on the ground. Oh, no. Your favorite. <laughs> Dude, I'll tell you what, man. If you've never heard porch furniture move so fast <laughs> in your life. Last that. night, I'm sitting there and this idiot pops over the fence. It's another snake. It's oh another gosh. snake, man. He's got to stop, dude. He's like the butcher of the block. I don't know what kind. <laughs> oh of, I don't know what kind of competition they're in. Luckily, the snakes were still alive too. I wish the little baby rabbits were, but uh, yeah, they sad. were not. We had to take. I, I took care of them though and got them disposed of properly. But uh, the snakes, man, were still alive and. Uh, yeah, I got these. I got these like extra long <laughs> barbecue grill tongs um yeah because <laughs> it was at night i couldn't call my wife normally i would call my wife to take care of the snake i was problem. gonna say have we <laughs> mentioned your like phobia of snakes yeah we have have we talked about that on here we have man we okay. have i'm just but making that's sure why I, and he's i mean he's really unusual cat because like this cat will let me touch his face and yeah I, and i won't have to hold him down and i can kiss him on his forehead and all kinds of things he's a big dummy man he's kind of he, he's my first puppy yeah but i'm i'm literally afterwards i'm like mom's asleep she couldn't take care of this shit what <laughs> are you doing are you trying to put it. me in therapy and he's just looking at me like thought you were hungry i was trying to help you out <laughs> so, i love it man. Uh, man between the kids and the pets man damn this life dude damn yeah it. so yeah. no no man that's it that's interesting it. uh well my stories are much i've got two very short ones that i'm just mm -hmm. proud of this week um so mine are much less gruesome as well um i <laughs> I, you and I have talked about this, so I've been reading a lot of the original, like, MTG novels. So for anybody that doesn't know, a uh, long time ago, when the game first released, they had novels that came out with every set and sometimes multiple per set and all that stuff. Um, I just got done reading The Thran, which is book, like, five in one of the original series. And it's basically telling the story. I know this is magic related, my bad, but uh, the, it's fine. telling the original story of like Yogmoth and how he took over and created Phyrexia and all this stuff. And man, I finished it today. Oh God, it was just mind blowing. Cause I didn't know, like I, I've tried to make it my mission to learn a lot more about the lore. Um, and while the books aren't like exactly super well written, um, it is really fascinating to get like the true backstory of this is the canon of what happened and all that. So that's been really fun. Highly encourage you to check that out. Also, though, and I'm just going to toot my own horn a little bit here because I'm just <laughs> stoked about it. Um, 
I've been writing so much music lately and it's been a blast. I had an I I keep having stupid ideas for a little song riff on guitar while I'm showering, which is like the most inconvenient time because I can't do anything about it. Like I have to if I'm like shampoo and hair, right? And I'm just like, <laughs> "Oh, that's a cool idea." I can't just like jump out of the shower butt ass naked and go and record that. Like I have to wait until I've dried off, gotten all the, you know, it's like a process. And so, um I, there was the other day I was like in the middle of showering and I was like, I have to finish this shower. I was like, Caitlin, don't talk to me. I've got an idea. Leave me alone. And so I like ran into here, which I've got a computer over here, which is music production computer. And I, I recorded this riff and it took me like 30 minutes to figure it out, but I was so stoked. And, uh, yeah, now I wrote a song out of it, but here we are. Good job. Uh, You know I'm gonna ask you to hit me up with the song oh, when I can you get that. it when yeah. you get it posted. So hit me up with that link so I can listen to it. I listen to the other stuff, man. I like it. I dug it. Nobody I dug it. Nobody on it resolves has aside from you has ever heard and I guess Will, but Will's Will's the other guy that started it resolves with me. So mm-hmm. I hang out with Will pretty regularly. He's just a good friend of mine. But um you are the only two on the It Resolves channel as a whole that have ever heard any of those songs apart from one live stream I did uh, where somebody asked if I could play a riff uh, for the song that I sent you the first time. Um, yeah, no, man. Link it. Link. Uh, is it on Spotify? No, I don't or post do my personal private? stuff on anything. Oh, come on, man. Look, okay. So guys, hound him in the comments below. It's kind of got, it's got like this alternative feel to it. Uh, so if you're a nineties <laughs> kid, You'll love it, um, <laughs> even early two thousands. Um, but uh, yeah, man, it's got it's got it's got it's it's pretty smooth, bro. I've got a lot of songs that I need. I have to send you because I've. How do I have? It? Do I just have it private then? Yeah, Is that private on Spotify? No, it's not on. So okay, to be Where clear, did you send it to me? Well, to be clear, I was in a band that is on Spotify. Okay. Uh, so gotcha. if anybody wants to check that out, feel free. We wrote the album that is on there. There were two. There's an EP and then an LP. Um, the Both of them were written like 10 years ago. Um, we finally, in the last like two or three years, recorded the LP and like released it. Um, it's under the name Old Sun, S-U-N. Uh, if you check that out, it's, I don't remember. Oh, The Big Sleep is the album name. Um, as far as my personal stuff, yeah, I just sent that to you in like Twitter or something okay yeah i don't i don't <laughs> share that i get vip shit here boys yeah <laughs> so, um, no. you know truthfully though i did think about like putting a discord channel up that is just like other creative stuff that people yeah. can share whatever they want and it's just like hey if you've been working on something creative and you want to share it like please feel free and i was thinking about doing that and like if well, i what did the hell? do song, we not have do we not have a music channel on our discord no Oh, magic dude. Channel. I mean, yeah, but you should still have a music channel, man. You should still have a music channel. <laughs> I mean, I get it. I get it. We're magic, but I mean, that way yeah. they can, somebody can link up their Spotify or something in there and go turn yeah. it on and make it a voice channel or something. I don't know. But yeah, no, definitely throw it on there, dude. Throw it on there. I, I enjoyed it. it. I enjoyed it, guys. Uh, and I'll be perfectly honest if I didn't, um, I'd still say I enjoyed it. No, I'm kidding. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> you totally would. You're way too fucking nice. <laughs> I'm kidding, bro. I'm kidding. It was really enjoyable. It really was, man. I told you who I kind of thought it crossed over yeah, with and yeah, stuff. Yeah. And I don't want I don't want to give I don't want to give anything away because I don't want anybody to take my description. If you listen to it and you put out your description, I'll know whether you actually listen to it or not. But uh no, I dug it, man. I dug it. I listened to the whole damn thing, so I, I better have. So yeah. I appreciate it. I've been uh I've been really stoked on music lately because I've been pushing I, I'm a drummer at heart and so I've had to learn guitar living in a town home just so I could play an instrument. <laughs> Um, yeah. and I have a keyboard back there. I've got two guitars and a bass guitar and, um, I've been learning all of it just for the simple fact that I like writing music and I, I needed that outlet. So that's kind of my creative project away from the, it resolves creative project. <laughs> so note to self, if you and Caitlin ever have a kid, yeah, first birthday is going to be drum set. <laughs> no john i can't do that to myself <laughs> it's either that or you get the twenty-five thousand piece lego set your choice now that okay now hold on 
I'm in the back. The That's a no lot way, quieter man. also. No way. It's a lot quieter, dude. But if you've never actually just flipped out over a 25,000 piece Lego set, you would have preferred the drum set. So, yeah, let's go. I do no, like that. I, I had a friend that brought bought one of my boys a 25,000 piece Lego set for Christmas one year, and it pissed me off so bad. I bought his son a drum set, <laughs> a saxophone, and a set of cymbals and maracas for the, for the next Christmas. And his wife never uh, oh invited God. us back over for Christmas gift exchange again. So, I love that. So. You know, okay, joking aside, we need to do uh -huh. an It Resolves like gift exchange. That'd be fun. Well, I mean, we still got the play mat and the cards. Just neither one of us oh, want to go to the post yeah. office. So. It's literally <laughs> like right down here. Let's uh, not put each other into a position. Neither one of us want to be it. No, I mean, we yeah, could discuss it. We could discuss it. We could probably do that. Yeah. yeah no, I just mean for it. like the whole It Resolves community. Like if people want to be into it. Oh, yeah. It's like a secret yeah. Santa. That'd be kind of fun. Yeah. Yeah. If they want to just kind of keep it like under 10 bucks or under yeah, five bucks or something like that. Yeah. Man, yeah. This is, this is the ideas in the making, man. Look at that. See, start writing these channels down, man. Music, secret Santa. Yeah. <laughs> we got the, we got, we got the stream giveaway. We got the channel giveaway. I mean, we got, we got all kinds of things, man. We're all about the community. It's all about you boys and girls. <laughs> so, <laughs> all right. I love it. Well, guys, we are going to wrap up today's episode. I know this one was a little off, like, the normal, like, true, you know, meta topics or anything like that. But it is nice to highlight some other content creators. And I do hope you guys will take the time to go check them out. If you don't know them, please do. Uh, again, if you are a content creator and you happen to be listening, regardless of your channel size, feel free to reach out to us. We'll work with you and, and make it work as best we can uh, to, to highlight you guys. So please do check that out as well. Just contact us in whatever means you, you would prefer and we'll, uh, we'll work with you there. But guys, thank you so much for watching. My name is Kevin. My name is John. Yes, I threw that one out. Curveball. <laughs> Thanks for watching, Channel guys. Channel it resolves. Peace out, y'all. What the heck? <laughs>